No, I'm fucking driving off on it right now. I feel like I'm driving off on the fucking thunder. Third house right now. Sure, it's the right house. The one with it's all a the pretty humble house. What, the one with the fucking massive gates and all the red Oh, yeah, that, that, that would be it, yeah. I need to open the gates for you. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Sorry. Humble house. I don't think you can spell the word humble living in a gaff like this. Fuck me. Yeah, EGO. EGO? That's not humble, mate. That's ego. Oh. How long are you living here, then? Uh, well, this is just like my... Holiday home away from the Mandem block, really. This is your holiday home. So where, where the, what the fuck is the size of your normal house? Where are we going, by the way? I'm in front. I don't well, know where well, I'm going. I live in a nice apartment in the Mandem block, but, you know, sometimes I cannot be asked to deal with those little kids. So, you know, go out here, eat some mind fresh air. You know, I've got a great view of Port Zancudo, got the sea, the ocean air. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I was working with two of your boys earlier tonight, Ved and uh, Molden. James. Yeah, yeah, I took him on a, I, did, I took him on a bank heist with me. They did very well. You put Ved in one of your heists, mate. Him and James did exactly what they needed to do, exactly the way they should have done it. Did Ved need to speak? No. That's why it worked. Be fair, mate. They had a role. They did if, their if, role. If you put Ved in a position where he has to, like, you know, waffle a little bit, you know. Yeah, mate. Convincingly, but... you know, get around the story. It ain't happening. Yeah, mate, but you got to put you got to put a high screw together, knowing what everyone's strengths are. My strength is what's his got, strengths. His strengths is he can Landing open somewhere. He can open things that other people can't open. He's quite good at it. At what? Hacking, mate. Ed. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. What? what? Hey, was it like a fleek or something? I was. Yeah, mate. Little Ved, yeah. Little Ved, I know you're underestimating Rectangle him. Rectangle, square, and one, two, and three, and all that sort. But, mate, he did blind it. Did a good job. Oh, oh. Him and James together, mate. We were a great team. They did everything yeah, needed so to be done. You don't mind, you don't mind all the girls being there, do you? Nah, crack on, mate. It's to be expected with a house like this, I suppose. It's not secret combo or anything, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard times out here. Who the fuck is this guy? I didn't see guys around as well. Who the fuck what wears the fuck? shorts below guy? the knee oh. in 2023? Get out of my house. This downturn's really getting to me, you know? I think Don't he's... kill a fact that you use on your fucking sunscreen. Get out of my house. I think he's wearing board shorts from the 90s. Have I, got, have I got to tell you more than once? Let's go with you, sweetie. Wow, they are unfazed by the gun. That's that's impressive. Oh, no. There we go. There we are. Oh, fucking hell. That you've... <laughs> Jesus, that's a drop. Oh, they're off. Look at them like lemmings. Off the... Wow, look at that combat roll. See ya. Bye. That's right, mate. Jump in the pool. Go on. Off you go. See you, mate. Au revoir. Off. He's off as well. Fuck me. They're all off. They're all gone. They're scarpered. I've lost him now. Where the fuck's... Where the fuck... Oi. Where's, where's T gone? Boy, I've lost you in the maze of your own... Pro oh, there you are. Am I coming over there or are you coming back to the pool? I'll, I'll come to you. Oh, no, you're running. That situation under control. I mean, they, they just ran off a mountain, mate. I, mean, I don't know about yeah, under control. Turn, uh, you know, just jump off the fence and unalive themselves. There were so many other options they had for escaping. They went with they the worst. They could have spoken to me, you know, and just yeah. said it's a big misunderstanding. I'm just, you know, I'm the pool cleaner, but I thought I'd get a catch of tan. No, they just went with... Always looking pretty clean. So. It is. I mean, that is some, that's some, that's a nice pool, mate. It's a nice pool. Yep, yep, I yep. can only hope, mate. One day. One day, eh? For a pool, or...? Yeah, yeah, nice. So what you the view of the ocean? You like, you like the view of the military base? Well, I've I seen... Like the two. This one's quite nice. Yeah, uh, yeah I don't know. I've, 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 had, I've had my fill of army bases, mate, in my years. Anyway. So you can see, like, you see planes land occasionally. You see cars go into the tunnel. How much time know? do you spend up here just watching that fucking base and watching planes land? Quite a long time, you know. It's very peaceful. Is it peaceful? How was your holiday, by the way? A holiday? Yeah, like you were away for like a month. I assumed you were on it was holiday. Not holiday. Well, I don't know what you get up to. I assumed it was of, you know, kicking your feet up, enjoying I yourself. I died back to the UK for a court case that I was due to appear in. Oh, how'd that go? Uh, well, it's not looking good, let's just say that much, you know, but they haven't got clear, hard evidence. 
Whoa. Let's just say they're trying to bring down a big operation that I had back uh, in London a long time ago, way before I came to Los Santos, you know? That's the reason why I came to Los Santos in the first place. Um, because, it, you know, it just got a bit sticky, shall we say, uh, back in London. A um, couple of rats speak too much. There is nothing on God's green earth despised more than a rat. Yeah. So, I did, I did come here, you know, I was, thought I was fucking sick and tired of that life. You know, it was, I was, you know, you know you're years deep, right? And every, every night you go to bed and you wake up with panic attacks, you hear a noise, you're thinking, oh, they, they're going to fucking bang on the door, the police are here. You know, I'm, I'm living every day with guilty conscience. So well, I you... came here with the intention of, oh, you know what? Los Santos, you know? The home of Vinewood. You know, where I can, I can just chill, you know, I have a nice, regular, regular job and just disappear into the abyss of normality. A regular job? Mate, have you seen the fucking house you live in? Yeah, well, I, I did have a regular, regular job. I was a taxi driver for God knows how long. When you're a taxi driver, you know, you, you tend to make a lot of connections with people. That is true. That is true. One of my boys, and two then, of yeah, my boys. Suddenly I got the hunger back again, you know, and I couldn't be seeing all these rich people, you know, just wanting to be the same as them. So here I am. And yeah, it's the fruit of my labor. And now they're trying to take away from me again. It's the worst case. I mean, you can, I, you you know, can always... Uh... I go back and I go back for a long time. Ah, or I go back sense, and we keep trying to fight it and, you know... Or you just, on the wrist and we... just, just don't go back and hire someone to deal with the problem, you know? Easier than done because, you know, these these police, they catch me, they got, they got a warrant, you know, they get a warrant from the fucking Met Police back in the UK. Oh, you went in and snatched a warrant. Suddenly I'm getting taken on a plane, you know, by two fucking guards. Guns at the ready. Haven't got enough money to buy them all off, or at least buy off the fucker who's chasing you. Yeah, you have to get lucky with these like corrupt cops, you know. But some of these cops ain't corrupt. Ah, you haven't got to get lucky, mate. You just got to find the weakness. Even the ones that aren't corrupt, you can corrupt. You think? Oh yeah, of course you fucking can. You can corrupt anyone if you really fucking want to. Takes a bit of time and a bit of research. What if you have got time? What if you get caught? Now, let's just say I'm partaking in a lovely fleeker bank job with yourself, right? Fed types corkle opposed to circle hold bank jobs fucked right we're stuck there hostage passes out from hunger whoa, whoa, right? hostage, so not only mate, is mate, bed mate, fucked up the hacking on. if we've got a the, hostage, the hostage we're already I've only had no leverage has passed out no no you don't, you don't need a hostage i've never done a bank with a hostage ever yeah, well this is my situation not your situation you said if you were doing a bank job with me okay, I'm we're, just we're, we're you blabbering about... we're a security firm and we're working there's been technicality <laughs> issues in the back of the vault and we're making sure there's no breaches right. do that right we waffle on we talk about the breaches right uh, yeah. our tech guy in the back he's doing the red wire yellow yellow wire you know he knows what he's doing leave him five minutes we'll be done with the job we make sure this bank's nice and safe and no money gets taken out and these criminals will be taking the money right we do all that they don't believe us so they want to check some details of us you know and our details that we've we've, we've forged and made don't check out this time they've seen these before right so then they want to try and arrest us, put us in cuffs, search us. They've got probable cause that we're actually trying to rob said bank. I get put in cuffs. They realize that's Tommy Tate. He's wanted back in the UK. Let's take him back to, let's take him back to the cells. They call him at police. Instantly, guards, army, navy, everything. Fly me over. But you know this country... I ain't got time to corrupt them. I'm this... there and then. I'm no, fucked. Mate, this... First of all, this country don't extradite, number one. Number two... That's what you think. That's what you think. I, I found out the hard way. Number two, if you know people back home are looking for you with a warrant or whatever the fuck, you don't corrupt the cops over here. You corrupt the cops back there. I'm not there to corrupt them. What, what you I ain't got? got you ain't got a fucking MSN network. Messenger, am I? I fucking not, I hope not. In 2023, you don't. Otherwise, they can fucking trace you. But you telling me with all your money and all your connections, you can't get something sorted out back home? Use a digital trace, you know. Then send a fucking pigeon. But I mean, the end of the day, mate, if you've got a problem back home... The long fucking for a pigeon, you know, you have to get an A380 or something over to London. So a pigeon, I feel like, may not even make it as far as the Titanic. You know, he would get stuck in the Atlantic somewhere. Well, if you want help dealing with shit back home, let me know. I can put some boys on it. Okay. Anyway, we've segwayed massively. Well, we we've we, 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 been we, how holiday was, so we I have to tell you. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess I, in many ways we have, in fact, not segwayed at all. Basically, you just said, holy waffle, shut the fuck up. Let me talk. Oh, hang on. One of my boys. One minute. All right, mate. 
All right, mate, we've uh, finished the recce. Pretty good wee place. We can, you know, we'll, if if we're free to come up, we'll come up. But if we're not, then we'll just chill for a wee. All right, let me ask. Wait, Tommy, do you mind if two of my boys come up? What's the names? Uh, JT and L. Okay, just make sure they say the names at the gate. All right, yeah, boys, you've come up. Uh, make sure you say your names at the gate so the guy on the intercom. Guy on, guy on security ah, the gate, you know, right. gate should be unlocked. Oh, we'll do a lovely mate, we'll head on. Yeah. Have to say names into, into yeah. Season? Yeah, no worries, but we're, we're right by the pool. Just uh, keep, keep, the a pool, bit of, okay. keep a bit of distance, right? Cause I'm, once I've finished waxing Lyrical, you guys come over, right? Yeah, that's no worries, mate. Oh, that's no worries. Appreciate you. Season. Bye bye. <sighs> anyway. Can you come back and make sure to take off their shoes as well? They're not going inside the house. Doesn't matter. Alright, okay, hang on. I don't know them. That's fair. Yo, yo. Uh, request from Tommy. Can you make sure you take your shoes off? Leave them in the car. Oh, yeah, of course. I'll take my shoes off, mate. Oh, okay. Good, good. Okay. You know, you're from Glasgow, mate. You never know. Well, yeah, of right. course. Wait a bit. That's a good point, mate. He's Scottish, so he wouldn't he wouldn't know to take his shoes off, you know? Hmm. Anyway. No look. iron brew in the fridge either. Uh, there's no iron brew in the fucking city, mate. And much to his shock and there horror. Is, there is. What? Where? I've drunk iron brew in the city before. Nah, fuck off, have you? No, you haven't. I have. Nah, you're pulling my leg. Your legs over there, my hands are literally by my crotch. So. Careful. You're pulling my own leg, you're not careful. Uh, don't. Not with, not with an audience, mate. I mean, you, I'll fucking jump over this fucking railing. You join them down there. There's lots of them. There's, mate, there's the amount of bodies you got down there. They're, they're the fucking... It's an easy dumping ground, to be fair. It's always to see. They got I mean, down there. Yeah, but the know, smell, mate. The, the, bridge. the smell's going to end up being a fucking problem if you're not careful. Nah. Yeah. Oh, have you seen these uh these bottles that fucking Vets are uh, selling? What, Vrime? Yeah, and mate. Vukazade. No, Vrime. That's the last one. And that was well good, isn't it? No. No? All right, fair enough. You're a fan of Vrime, are you? Uh, I've only seen it for the first time today. I thought it was I thought oh, it was that, genius. That, 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 the veins the cookie is pretty good. I thought it was genius marketing. Is it? I don't know. Maybe not. Moving on. So, the reason I want to have a, a conversation with you is a couple of things, really. Now, one of these things, well, all of it, I've spoken to SK and Patar about. But, so right now, in the west of the city, right, you've got you and your boys, yeah? The Mandem. With the British flag flying outside your block. Mandem Records, UK Oil, Gold Rush. That little square with all your shops, etc., etc. Right? Now you've got me and my boys, just next door. You know, doing the old school sort of British gangster thing, yeah? In tandem with you and your boys. In many ways, the rest of the city is fast becoming little Britain, little England, little London. And one of the things I pitched to SK and Batar is one, your firm and my firm working a lot closer together for a lot of reasons, right? Got the same background. We think the same. We get each other. We work together a lot at the moment. It all goes well. We all make money. But equally, the longer... I spend in this city, the more I realise that an awful lot of the power in the city is all linked back to one place. And I thought to myself, wouldn't it be amazing if a group of people came together and built something to offer the city an alternative? Instead of there being one entity that governed over all, there was another entity built itself up to be competition. Hold up. Let him cook. What I'm talking about here, to be plain with you, is that with your acumen and experience and my acumen and experience, my boys and your boys, we build something up to not only take over the western part of the city and make it unarguably underneath that fucking Union Jack you got flying outside your block. But equally, something that can properly, unarguably rival Cerberus. A British corporation. What if I already have that corporation? If you've already got the groundworks, mate, it sounds like it's about time we start building a skyscraper. Because I already have Mandem Enterprises. Which was going to be the Cerberus competitor. Well, it sounds like, mate, me and you have had the same idea without ever talking before. 
done it. Execution is the hard part. Execution is the hard part, but the difference is from when you first had this idea to now, is now you got me. And you barely got me. Well, somewhere in the middle there, we got a whole person. What do you propose in this? Let's say that it already exists and you'd like, to, you know, let's say what's the first day of action or, you know, what, let's not do, let's do first day. Let's do three month plan, 90 day plan. What are you hoping to see from, let's say, Madam Enterprises in 90 days? Well, first of all, I've got to get a good understanding of everything that Mandem Enterprises or you yourself have currently got in the city, right? In terms of liquidity, assets, etc. How that works. What well, income current, streams. Well, Mandem Enterprises hasn't got anything because I own Gold Rush. Yeah, they're both just I own part down, of Ed Services. I own UK Oil. I own part of everything that the Mandem have, to be honest. Um... So we, gold, I mean, gold rush is, and I, I own Madam Records. Uh, gold rush is the main money maker, of course. And I mean, I can always, you know, do some research and uh, import some new tools, let's say, that could uh, help you find different stuff in the city. And we can always expand that business further from what it currently has, and we can always, I can always reboom it whenever I need to do so. I mean, my day one... So I can double the income on that. The um, issue with this company that we have here in Gold Rush is not a us problem. We just uh, it's stack a problem up your with the gold itself. Down. Shifting gold in this city is very hard. I have been told. It it's a very big bottleneck that we have here. So what needs to happen if you want to be a man of enterprise is first point of call is you make a competitor to Zionis. Which allows us to funnel our own gold through. Well, it sounds like we've already got because the uh, first night of days sorted. Issue here. And Sionis is under Cerberus as well. So we need to then the exact same underwrite there where we have our own refinery that can then do our own gold for us. Because why are we going somewhere else? But we've scaled up our business big enough now that we can afford to open our own refinery. It helps us and our business makes it faster business. Keeps us more liquid, gets us moving. Right? First point of call. Sounds like you've already put some thought into this. Up, Danzy. This is just, this is common sense at this point. No, I agree with you, mate. And this is one I of the reasons. Only start to go further, yeah. This is one of the reasons I wanted to sit down with you because, like I said, and as you've mentioned just now, so much in this city, it seems that at every point, it's just, it's Cerberus. And from there, you even have Pornhub, Pornhub, as they call it, right? Exact same issue. Yep. You need to compare that to that. Takes in more stuff, maybe different stuff. These new, these new items, maybe that come through with these new pans that I've been looking into. There's, I've been doing some research. There's these new pans that have uh, emerged, and they've just, they've, you know, they've just, they have like different ways of detecting stuff. Oh, first I've heard about this. Hmm. But I agree with you. I mean, the first ninety days, other than consolidating what businesses there already are will be removing bottlenecks which currently exist and in the hands of the competition. Stage one. Stage Cut. two. Stage two would Scalability be... Scalability and expansion from here, right? Exactly. Look out ahead of me. I didn't bring... I brought you here for a reason, you see. I, I knew what you about I, to talk about. I suggested we come here. No, that's what you think. You didn't understand that I've already corrupted you. All right. corrupt anyone, you know? No matter who it is, you can corrupt anyone. I, th I said that. Exactly. <laughs> so, I plant the seed for you to say it, you know, inception of the brain. Anyway, ahead of you, what do you see? Limitless possibilities, Tommy. The ocean. Well, you see. I mean, yeah, and that. It was very, it's very, <laughs> say what you see type B. It wasn't, you haven't got deep with it. I don't, mate, it's half the time you're using metaphors, half the time you're not. It's hard to f f keep track of which but one I'm actually going with. Not wrong. The ocean limitless possibilities out there got it all right yes look how vast it is it surrounds our whole island tell me one company in the city that actually fucking uses it 
Well, now that the oil rig's gone, fucking no one. Exactly. Guess what I have? An oil rig. No. Oh. I have a company already <laughs> made called Atlantis. For the ocean. What if out there in the out there yonder into the ocean, right? Deep out there. There could be abandoned boats out there. I've been down in that sea. I've been in submarines. There are crashed planes. There are crashed ships. Who knows what kind of loot could be down there? Oh, mate, there's all sorts of shit down there. Imagine the salvage. Imagine the money. Imagine the money you made in the ocean. It sounds a little bit like the East India. I can, I can take, we can take the treasure dive in. You go and find treasure down there. Mate, tourist, tourist industry is, is an untapped market in this city. I'll tell you that. Exactly. Stage two, scalability. So not only then we have, we own the waters of the city. Not only that. The water brings us gold and the water brings us everything from the sea as well. But equally with scalability, we start looking at real estate. One of the things that Cerberus have done so very well is the sheer volume of the city. Geographically, they physically fucking own. Now, I know there's some real estate at the moment, which potentially could be coming available. That's already, if not on your turf, next to your turf. Which is? Bahama Mamas. Bahama Mamas. There is no live event scene or music scene currently you know that i tried about a very long time ago right? i know and my missus has spent eight months negotiating with the current owners to get a number they're willing to sell at we have now now what so bunny who owns 49 percent mm -hmm. has put her number at five i reckon she's we... gone up since our last negotiation. i reckon we can get that knocked down you won't oh no we will and unless you're going to corrupt and force it's gone up. Of course it's gone also, up. Also, the floor has got cum on it. Uh, mate, we'll fucking do a deep clean, son. Uh, that's the issue of the high mamas, you know? It just doesn't take to cleaning. I have heard. But it would offer a possibility of doing things that currently this city ain't had done in it for a long fucking time. Plus, it's real estate. Cerberus can't take and it will generate income. Now, I'm not saying we do that as our fucking day one, but a lot of work has been done into the potential for that place. And I also know that Leslie of Cerberus is eyeing it up. The only thing I will say, because I did think about a whole event space and that doing that whole thing over there before, is it's not innovation. It's just doing the same thing again. It's not innovation. And, but... and, and that's why I, I don't want to do that. What, what what man of enterprises should stand for and will stand for if it is to go ahead, right? It has to innovate and it has to elevate and it has to compete. Those are the three things it needs. That's it. I agree with you. I, will and I don't say... want to go back and do the exact same thing that this city has done for the past two years or however how long i've been here that makes because sense because that's not the way it should be that's not the way it should be but i will i will say right now right i look at this city and things that this city does not have or things that the city should have but doesn't right now i could Relation. i could i could wax lyrical on the things that i think are done badly in this city right the arms trade fucking run like a shitter in this city if someone ran it properly that too i know if someone did it properly, they would be making hundreds of fucking grand a week as a single source of firearms. But at the moment, oh, well, it ain't happening. What used to be in the city was arms dealers that were scary. Arms dealers that people actually respected and wouldn't fuck around with. You want that, but I'm also a big believer that if you've got a decent arms dealer, you should never fucking know who it is. Exactly. You, Those are you, I'm telling you. you I, I, when I went and bought my first guns, I didn't fucking hear a car. We were that. terrified. Didn't know who the fuck they was. Whose car is that? Get like a message. Get a phone call. I don't know who the fuck's calling me. And we go there. We drive up. They barely talk to us. We go in the trunk, pick up the guns, and we get out of there ASAP. Yeah, that's all too buddy buddy, you know. Ah, uh, well, it's like I said, mate. It's dropped off. No one's doing it properly now. And then that's not, and that's not a quick buck. That's effort and time. Nah, it's not about the quick buck, though, is it, mate? It's all about the long plan. 
It's not about the money right no, now. I'm, I'm saying but, uh, that's what everyone's on now. Actually, no, shit. I mean, yeah, I agree with you, man. I'm going to turn this radio off. Uh, no, I agree with you, mate. The problem right now is everyone's thinking about, I want this and I want it fucking now. I'm, I'm not playing the long game. I'm not planning ahead. I'm not looking to, to next week. I'm looking about what is my bank account looking like right this fucking second. In that instance, you're talking about changing something that isn't feasible really to change because you're talking about changing people. Um, so what you have to think about is is more, you know, the the things themselves, the companies themselves, the, that, you know, we can do things our own way and then that's it, you know? I will say this, mate. You can change people. Of course you can. You can corrupt them. No, nah, not always about corruption, mate. Sometimes it's about like you, like, like, like you do with me, right? Subtle misdirection. Have you got your shoes on? No, he's got his shoes are off. <laughs> his shoes are off. Yeah, they're off. His shoes are definitely yeah, off, Tommy. From here. Yeah, it, we, we call him the Hobbit. Yeah, fucking Frodo over there, mate. Yeah, Frodo and Gimli. Anyway. I agree with Sounds you, mate. You've you got to innovate and you got to do what's new. Now, Which one of those two is Gimli? The one on the right, Scottish one, who's Gimli. I'm getting distracted by the feet. Right? Now, innovation, I agree with you, mate. The only way to truly innovate is to have someone like you attached. Now, me, I'm an ideas man. I come up with a million ideas. Half of them are fucking non-starters because of where I am. You know what I mean? I'm too new. I ain't got the, I ain't got the network. I ain't got the context, which you'd have. Nor do I have the bank account, which you have. But what I do have is a fucking cracking work ethic. We don't have a particular set of skills. I do have a particular set of skills. I'm not going to fucking... Well, actually, I'll tell you what, I can trap people down and kill them for you if you really want me to. But that isn't what we're talking about that. today. That's all right, mate. Most of my boys are ex-military, so, you know. A lot of things we can do for you. But right now, we're talking about business, not me uh, doing some wet work. So, it's going to be wet. It's going to be pretty dry. Nah, wet work normally gets a bit messy, mate. I mean, there's claret all over the place for one. Mm. Anyway, I would argue that we are on the same page. And from the sound of things, you've been thinking about this for quite a while. Uh, yeah, this has been a very, very long time. So. It's also how I got to where I am now. You know, like the bank account looks like this because of this mindset. Oh, uh, mate, I, I get that. I don't, I don't think you were fucking... You didn't walk in here with a fucking silver spoon. You fucking... You worked your ass off and now you are where you are. What do you think it was when I was uh, struggling maybe a month and a half ago? It was you I gave a phone call to. Asked for advice. So I know you've done it. Now we've got to do it again. But nah, now, we've got, now we've got to do it. Yeah, we've got to do it a lot bigger. A lot bigger. Cerberus was built over years. And, it, and right now, mate, they're fucking expanding. Aggressively. They're also, also close to collapsing. You go either way. I don't think they will ever experience a true collapse. I don't think Lang's heart's there anymore. I think I can corrupt him. I mean, I think right now Lang's heart's in being a fucking Southside gangbanger more than a business. Exactly. But exactly. He's Mate. had a taste again. He's had a taste and he wants it. He has. I think I, think I can corrupt Lang to the point of Cerberus collapsing. But if you think you can do that, mate, there'd be no better opportunity to build up a corporation at the same time as uh, the demise of that. You know, one empire falls, another rises, doesn't it? You know, British Empire had its time in the sun. That was a long time ago. Maybe it's time for a second go at it. Hmm. I'm getting my brain tickling. Give me a couple days. Oh, mate, I'm not expecting me and you have this conversation and then fucking suddenly tomorrow me and you are taking over the fucking city. No, give me a couple of days and let me just... Ruminate. Have a think. Right. Then marinate. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll see. Oh, there's no seeing, Tom. Me and you can take over the city. That much has been decided yeah, I, already. I want to see if I want to decide that. You ain't corrupting me. Oh, I'm not trying to corrupt you, mate. What's in it for you? What's in it for me? What do you want? What, what were your intentions? I like building. Real intention. I like building. You trying to build your, you trying to build your own shit? No, mate. If I want to build my own shit, I build my own shit. I don't know. You won't fuck me over. What have you done to show that I should trust you? Ask your boys what I've done for them. I don't care about them. Well, you should care about them. They're your fucking boys. My experience of you isn't that. But they've got experience of me, and they know what I'm about. They know what I've done for them. They know what, how we've worked together. I haven't done anything that even comes close. 
nudging them the wrong way, let alone anything close to betrayal or anything like that. The closest people I've got in this city are your boys. And that's why when I that's started... That's what would say, though. It's the fucking truth, mate. You can go and speak to the your No one in your position would say that, though, because the best thing to do is plate, you know? Infiltrate the dealer, find the supplier. In this case, I'm the supplier. No, Infiltrate we... the dealers, and you've just got their trust. Now, I'm the, I'm the big boy supplier that you're trying to get hold of. But I'm the final boss, the test. Now, you're someone I want to be... also with... show me that I, I can trust you. Trust don't come easy from me, so... Well, I'll tell you what, if it don't come easy, you come up with something, test... test what I can do for you. Test my loyalty. Test anything you want to test, mate. I'm an open book with you and your boys. All right? Give me a couple of days. Let me cook. Cook as long as you want, mate. I ain't going anywhere. I ain't gone to anyone else with this fucking idea. I could have done the easy thing, mate. When I came here, I could have done the easiest fucking thing. I could have gone straight towards Cerberus, buddied up, sold my soul, and been guaranteed. Why didn't you? Not my style, mate. What is your style? I'd much rather be part of building something that lasts. Is Cerberus not building something? It's built, mate. Done. You always build bigger, though. Yeah, but that's, fuck, that's the easiest shit in the world, that is, isn't it? Like, you know, it's, it's like jumping on a spaceship and it's already fucking liftoff, mate. It's, it's already fucking... It's, it like, I've, anything you do has got fucking nothing to do with it at that point. It's already guaranteed. Okay, well, let's say it's a spaceship guy into the moon. You can take it to Mars. It's already fucking the hardest bit is getting it off the ground in the first place. That's the that's the fucking struggle right there. That's where you can make a mark on something. Basically, what you want to do is attach a bomb to the spaceship, so the spaceship takes off and then collapses. No, I'd much rather build up my own oh, fucking space company. No, I'll build, build up my own space company and then fucking be bigger and better so than the I one that came you, before. If I said to you, go and put a bomb on the spaceship in the Cerberus has. You've already blown you it do? up once. Okay, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. How do you know? Mate, the streets fucking talk. We talked. Hey, in my business. Hmm. A lot of what I do is surveillance, mate. I've what? Got, How I've, am I going to trust you? You can't tell me who it was. I can't even fucking remember, mate. This is one of those things you hear on the street. You know what mm. I mean? Fucking people talk all the time. How was yesterday? Oh, that got blown up. Who did that? Oh, it was then. All right, okay. Mm. How's that, Matt? I would love to say it was probably Matt. I don't think it was. Not, not. Uh, I mean, I've got a lot I can say about Matt, but no, I'm not, I'm not going to throw that on him. That wouldn't be fair. Anyway, I'm not doing this to fucking try and do you over, try and supplant you, anything like that. The minute I got here, me and my boys have always been close with you and your boys. It's an obvious fit. Hmm. Obviously, ain't always the greatest, though. Well, like I said, I could have gone the easy option and run off to Cerberus, but here we are instead. I respect it. Well, like I said, give me some time and I'll get back to you. You know worries, mate. Like I said, I, I ain't pushing shit, mate. I know you're busy as busy can fucking be. Whenever you're ready, you give me a call. I'll make sure I'm available. And also, just so you know, if we do decide to go down this path together, I will make it my life's mission to see it through. I'm not one of those people who will start something and get bored of it and shift off in a few weeks' time. It's not in me. Once I start, I finish. Does she finish? Several times. Okay, cool. If I meet my missus, you can ask her that question. Alright, <laughs> I will do. I hope you do, because I... I want to hear the answer. Alright. Alright, You take these fucking weirdos about shoes out of my house, please. I will, mate. I will. Thanks for letting me around, mate. I appreciate it.